Hello, are you ready for unit 3? Shall we begin? It begins with the poem Run. Shall we start reading the poem? Shall I read it for you now? Good. Get ready to read the poem Run. Run! Away from the city and into the sun. Out to the country. Run! 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 Run in the raindrops. Run beneath the trees. Run little races with each little breeze. Run down the hillside and run up the lane. Run through the meadow, then run back again. Run and be merry all through the day. Run to the country. Away, away. Do you like running? I'm sure you like to run. Now, we read the poem. Shall we look at some important words which appear in the poem there? Look at the bottom of the page. You got some new words. Say them after me. Raindrops. Beneath. Breeze. Hillside. Meadow. Merry. Good. Now look at the next page where you have an extremely beautiful picture. Look at all the kids. Where are they? Are they in the city? No. They are in the countryside. Look at all the children running. Are they happy? Oh, they are very happy. They are chasing each other. Look at the man sitting there, very relaxed. The whole place is so relaxed, so green, so beautiful. You want to be there? You want to run there? Can you run like that in a city? Oh, you can, of course, if there is a park nearby. But in a village, can you run like that? Of course you can. We call it the countryside. You can enjoy running there. How nice. Let's move a step further. Would you like to look at that exercise on reading is fun? Now, there are a few suggestions there. A few questions. Uh, which says, for example, running is a very good exercise. Do you agree? Of course you do. Any three games you play where you use a lot of running. Can you think of that? Good. Yes. You can think of cricket. You can think of football. You can think of hockey. Good. And you can name many more. Um, a very serious question. When you run fast, what is happening to you? Uh, anything happening to your body? Good. You can discuss that with your friends later on. But here are some very important words which I want you to say aloud with me. Are you ready? Let's say them. Say after me. Beneath. Breeze. Meat. Fear. Each. Meadow. Good. There's a little spelling activity at the bottom of the page and I want you to do it at home later on. Now turn the page over to a small exercise where you are supposed to list some words which have an e, e A in them. Can you do that exercise? All right. I suggest that you do it with your friends. Now turn to page 41. At the top of the page, there are two bubbles. You will fill each bubble with words which contain EE -E or EA. 
Can you do this? Good. You can do it as your home task. But here is something very interesting for you to do. Look at the next activity. There are a few parts of the body and I want you to do a few things with that. Okay, so now look at exercise which says let's listen. Ready? Good. Shoulders. I want you to move them up and down. Are you doing it? Move your shoulders up and down. Your feet. Walk forward and walk backward. Run. I don't want you to run right now, but later on you can do that. Okay. Now, there is also a small little suggestion for you, which is right at the bottom. It says, walk tiptoe. You know how to walk tiptoe? Good, you can do that later. All right, let's now move on to page 42. And here are certain questions for you, which I want you to look at. Good. Uh, you can look at the picture, which is there on the opposite page, and answer them. Now, what is Mohan practicing on picture four? Good. What are Anil and his friends pulling in picture three? You make a sentence, okay? Look at picture three and make a sentence on what they are pulling and so on. You can do the rest of the exercise by looking at the picture. Good. So, now the task is look at the picture very carefully and make a fresh question. How do you make it? You work with your friends. Look at the pictures again and ask each one to make a fresh question. For example, you can add something like, what are they using to pull? Oh, they are using a rope. What are they using in the boat to move forward or backward and so on? So you can use new questions to describe each picture and that way you will learn to ask a number of questions. Okay. Let's move a little forward. We read a poem, then we saw a picture, children very happy, and then we did quite a few activities. We did new words also. And now let's move on to a story. Are you less ready to listen to this story? Yeah. This is about a man called Nasruddin, and his full name was Mullah Nasruddin Huja. A very clever man and we'll see how clever he is. One day, Nasruddin told his friends, Oh, you know, I can shoot an arrow at an A target and it's always perfect. His friends said, okay. And one of his friends brought one arrow and a bow. I said, now look at the target and shoot. And Nasruddin shot an arrow. It missed. All the friends laughed. <laughs> you said you can hit the target always? No, no, no. You should know that this is not my aim and my hitting the target. This is how Azad, you know our friend Azad? This is how he shoots an arrow and I wanted to show you that. Okay, take another arrow then. He took another arrow, shot. And this time it went and landed somewhere far away from the target. All the friends laughed. Then Nasruddin, he didn't bother. He said, ah, I wanted to show you how the chief guard shoots an arrow. And that is how he shoots it. And all the friends said, okay, okay, okay. 
take another. And this time, Nasruddin took an arrow, shot, and luckily for him, it hit bang on the target. Perfect aim. And all the friends became quiet. They couldn't believe it. And they looked at Nasruddin and he said, Now you see, this is how I always hit. Very clever. And all his friends had nothing to say. And they just kept quiet. Like the story? Is Nasruddin Huja a clever fellow? Very clever. Very clever. Now that you have read the story, here are some words which I want you to know. Will you repeat them after me? Look at those words at the bottom of page 47. Ready? Say them after me. Chatting. Archery. String. Bang. Target. Defending. Amazement. Triumphantly. Now, I want all of you to sit down and look at these words, find them out in the text and find out what they mean. I'm sure you can do that and you can take your friend's help and all of you sitting together can find out all these words and their meanings. Now, shall we go one step further? Now, in the next page, in page 48, there is a story which goes on to page 49. I don't want to read the story because you have to tell that story yourself. You have to practice telling the story. Are you ready? Take a look at those pictures on pages 48 and 49. Good. But I want you to look at the bottom of the page. There are a set of three pictures down there. Can you see them? What do you see? You see an old lady falling down the stairs and this boy going and helping her. Good. Did you see the pictures? Nice. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to construct a story. Imagine your own grandmother fell down the stairs. Oh, I don't want that to happen, but let's imagine that it happened. And so now you have to write what happened there in your own words. How do you begin? Well, I have a grandmother, very old, age, whatever, and one day she was climbing down the stairs and so on and so forth. And whatever happened, you can write the story yourself. And after you finish writing the story, show it to your friends and enjoy talking about that story and go and tell your grandmother also. She'll be very happy to hear that and then say, please. I don't want that to happen. Excellent. All right. Now, here is a very interesting activity for you at page 50. Turn to page 50. You've got arrows on the left, a whole lot of them, and targets on the right. You have to match the arrows with the target. Are you ready? Now, what I'm going to do is I will read the arrows for you and then read the target also and you can do the matching. Are you ready? Let us start. Arrow on the left on the top. Chatting. Say it after me. Amazement. Archery. Defending. Target. Triumphantly. Now, what do you have on the right hand side? Let's look at it from the top. Shooting with bow and arrow. Informal talk. Protecting from attack. Greatly surprised. Happy and proud. The goal 
intended to be hit. Shall we start matching? Chatting? Informal talk. Amazement? Greatly surprised. Archery? Shooting with bow and arrow. Defending? Protecting from attack. Target? The goal intended to be hit. And finally, triumphantly happy and proud. Did you like the exercise? Did you do it correctly? Good. Now look at the bold words at the top of page 51 in exercise 2. Now you have to replace the bold words, word in bold, with the words given in the arrow quiver there. I shall read the words and you will fill them in. What are the words? Target. Certainly. Remarked on. First sentence. Look at that. In no time she hit the object she aimed at. Hit the object she aimed at. What is the word for that? Good. Target. Nasruddin was surely not a good archer. Surely. What is the word? Good. Certainly. The teacher said something about his good handwriting. He felt very happy. Said something about. Good. Remarked on. Good. So far we have read the story, we have read many other things. Now let's look at a picture. This is the picture of Rahul Gupta. Look at that picture very carefully. You, there are a number of clues given. You will use those clues to write a small paragraph about Rahul Gupta. Let's look at the clues given. What are the clues given? Look at the top of page 52. Indian, cricket, eight hours, practices, eats healthy food, runs two kilometers every day, batsman. Can you write about Rahul Gupta using all these clues? You can do it later as a home task. But I want you to look at the bottom of the page where you have a set of pictures. This is Rajiv's family and everyone is very healthy and they do a number of things. Look at that picture very carefully. See what they do. What does Rajiv's father do? Oh, he does weightlifting. What is Rajiv's mother? What does she do? She does yoga. What does Sita, his sister, what does she do? Good. She does skipping. And what does the grandfather do? He does a lot of walking. Good. And what does the grandmother do? She drinks milk and keeps herself very healthy. And what does Rajiv himself do? Oh, he is a jogger. He does jogging. Very good. Let's now move on to the next page, to page 53. You have already done this exercise in the previous unit, lesson 1, unit 1. Combining sentences using and and but. Now, here are some suggestions and you can do it later at home. One example has been given to you. But there is a small little task for you at the bottom of the page. Look at that page. Look at that apple, look at that arrow and slowly bring it closer to your face and touch the star. And what do you do? What do you find there? You, have, you find the arrow hitting the apple. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, let's do one final exercise 
in this lesson unit. Let us play. Okay. Here are some words on page 54 at the top of the page. I will read them out for you. Stick, bat and ball, 11, table, racket, ball, football, 2 to 4, ground and stadium. Can you fill in that little grid with suitable words? For example, if we do cricket, what you play with? Bat and ball. Where you play it? In the ground. How many? What is the number? 11. Now can you fill in the rest of it? Good. Follow it up with an exercise where you will write three sentences using the grid on the top, the table which you have filled in on the top and one has been done for you. For example, it says cricket is an outdoor game and so on and so forth. So, you got that little exercise which continues on to page 55. And finally, here are some words which you know very well. You are all familiar with these words by now. Look at these words, googly, goal, LBW, penalty, free kick and penalty corner. What are the games they come in? Fill them in. Now, which means that there are lots of exercises which you can really do on your own now at the end of the lesson with your friends and so on. And here is a small little project for you. Take a little rubber ball, take a pin, pierce the pin onto the rubber ball, let it not come out. Now, take a little bit of wool, paste it using glue, color it, make it into a small braid, take a piece of cloth. What you do is you take a small little socks, take one sock, cut it with holes as shown in the picture, put your finger in that and you can create a small doll, a small little girl with plights, with little nose, a little mouth, small little eyes, beautiful and you can play with it. That is the end of this lesson unit. In this unit, we have seen children laugh, run, play. And then we read the story of a very clever man, Mullah Nasruddin. And finally, we did lots of exercises, lots of activities on cricket, on games, on various things. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Clear to you? Goodbye. See you later. See you at the next lesson. Thank you.